Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now here with us today, we happen to have an LG K20 Plus, originally from T-Mobile here in the US. And this is a device that does have the lock enabled because as we can see here, while we're going through the setup process, we get to that screen that tells us that we need to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it. We're making this video to let all of our clients know that we do offer a service to be able to remove that lock from the device, and that's actually something that we're going to do right here, right now, as proof that we can do it. I'm just plugging in the phone here to our computer program, and then once we run that, we should be able to see that we can then proceed through the setup steps of the phone without encountering that lock. A little background on the Google account lock, if you're not familiar with it. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5 to where when you do a factory reset to the device without first removing the Google account from it, it'll, the device will then ask you for that account again after the reset as a security step. So we've been contacted by tons of clients over the years who either got themselves locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information to get back in. Or the other common thing is that unfortunately there's a lot of dishonest sellers and scammers out there who will sell a used device and then not tell the buyer that it has the Google account lock enabled. So then the buyer purchases a device and then finds out that they can't get in because they don't have that login and password. Our computer program is finished running here, so the phone should be restarting here momentarily. It's just going through the startup process here, and of course we see the T-Mobile logo there. We'll need to give it another couple minutes to finish the startup sequence. So if you want to skip through this to the end of the video, that's perfectly fine too. Well, that's one. I should mention that this is a procedure that we can do remotely for anyone anywhere in the world, as long as you have a computer and internet that meet our requirements. So even if you're not located here close to us, there's still a good chance that we can help you out and get that taken care of. Like I said, this process does kind of take a while for it to turn back on. I'm going to go ahead and leave it up there on the screen, though, so everyone can see that we can actually remove it, that we're not just typing in our own Google account information there. So like I said, if you want to skip through to the end, that's perfectly fine. This process here should take another maybe minute or two. It's just part of the software initiation. Actually, I can do that since we're done. I think it actually takes longer to wait for the phone to turn on than it does to run the actual procedure. I hate that sometimes. Oh, there we go. That was fast. So actually with this device, when we remove the lock, we actually skip the setup process completely. As we can see there, we have the lock screen of the phone. So if we just go ahead and do a swipe, uh, it'll ask us which version of the home app we want to use. So we can just choose that, and there we go. So we're at the home screen now. We have full access to all the apps and the settings, and the Google account lock has been completely and successfully removed. While it's there, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to confirm what model device we are working with so that you all can see. So if I go and pull up the hardware information section, we can see that we do indeed have the TP260, which if you look it up is the T-Mobile version of the K20+. Plus. So the Google account lock has been successfully bypassed and everything's fully usable now on this device. So if you have a K20 Plus and need to get the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video there that has all the info as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. 
Also click the subscribe button while you're here to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.